Hello friends, this is Raj Sastri from Raj Option Trading. Uh, today is June 15, 2021. I want to cover a company called Harpoon Therapeutics, ticker symbol HARP. They're into healthcare and biotechnology. And this company is really helping with the cancer cure. They're spear spearheading immunotherapies. It's a great company. Let's uh, dive in and understand this better. Uh, from a headline in news perspective, um, you know, they're um, their program show re reduction in the tumor size, uh, stable disease across uh, um, solid tumors. That's a great um, good news. And they also, um, their share price is down 13% over last one year. So that's really a little bit uh, bad news here. Um, and then if you look at further here, uh, stock drops after prostate cancer candidate shows cytokine related adverse events. So this is the main reason why stocks fell down. And as you can see next, uh, shares are down 24.3% uh, during one session. So this bad news about prostate cancer candidate showing adverse effect, that caused the stock to drop down 24% in a single session. And they also had uh, their quarterly earnings. Uh, looks like they reported quarterly loss, but the revenue itself topped the estimates. So with that, if you look at the company's uh, investment overview here, a clinical stage immunotherapy company, and they got a nice platform here, T-cell engager technology. Um, and also if you look look here, they got TriTac and pro tac platforms here, which are uh, good in this uh, uh, cancer treating area. And they got multiple candidates, as you can see here. They got a candidate for prostate cancer, ovarian cancer, solid tumors, multiple myeloma, and also lung cancer and other uh, diseases. And they got multiple catalysts in 2021. Uh, four catalysts, as you can see here. If any of these catalysts come true, uh, then this company can do really nicely. And they got solid cash balance here, one, 189.4 million, which is always good. They can fund their operations into 2023. That's always good to know. You know, from a pipeline perspective, they got multiple pipelines, as you can see here. These four pipelines all, you know, can become a catalyst in 2021. Um, and then they got uh, various other uh, candidates here. And two of these, um, you know, candidates are also uh, in collaboration with the AbbVie, which is a major biotechnology company. So I feel good about this, um, you know, the um, pipeline itself, uh, given there are multiple of these things, you know, expected in 2021, they can become a solid catalyst for this company. So with that, if you look at uh, what they do, they got this uh, next generation T-cell engagers, and they will really help with the company to fight this uh, cancer disease. So I think it's uh, really you know doing a great job. So with that, let's jump in into the company um, um, company a little more. So Harpoon Therapeutics, they are a clinical stage immunotherapy company. They develop novel T-cell engagers. It's a you know very good uh, you know way of attacking cancer, and they got a tri-specific T cell activating construct, and they also help with the you know various uh, uh, drug development here as you can see here, and they have clinical trials for small cell lung cancer and other um, you know uh, cancer. So with that uh, stock price is fifteen point four four. Our CEO is Dr. Gerald McMahon and market cap is around $502 million. Next, let's uh, focus on the stock chart here. I love looking at these type of stock charts, especially a biotechnology company, clinical stage. So if you see your stock went up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Same story, repeats over and over again as you see. The depth and valley, you know, it's more as you see here. So this is why I love investing in these uh, biotechnology companies. Key is, key is not to get carried away and buy at the top, but instead wait for a drop. You know, there are a lot of great biotechnology companies. Every day a biotechnology stock drops down. 
you could pick some of these good stocks when they're down and buy them and hold for a couple months and they will always uh, bounce back as you can see in this chart over and over again so with that from a ceo perspective dr macmon he brings a lot of experience um, he has got a lot of background in the biotechnology leadership and also as you can see here uh, he held various um, oncology uh, positions here and he, he was the ceo of a couple of drug discovery companies which is always good background and he also um, worked in yale in the compressive cancer center tufts university so he's got solid solid background here a great ceo and a leader from a headline news perspective as you can see here share price dropped 13 percent over past year that's a little bit uh, downer as you can see here and they got good um, program here their tri tag program show reduction in the tumor size that's always good news and stock drops after prostate cancer candidate shows uh, cytokine related adverse events this is when stock dropped big 24 percent in single day and they also had a negative um, quarterly loss here in q1 but revenue itself tops the estimate so overall from a news perspective one solid bad news to the adverse events that's why stock dropped drastically in single session so with that uh, let's look at the competition and see what the competition doing so the way this uh, chart is organized you know we have a company as you can see here um, the the price market cap sales and sales growth very important then we have margin uh, debt to equity you know you got to make sure a company does not have too much debt so if this ratio is greater than one like uh, ap vivo here watch out be a little more a little bit careful but if the ratio is zero or you know a little lower than one you're a little bit okay roe shows the uh, company's profitability i like to see this uh, positive at least double digit at times but you cannot expect that in biotechnology you know clinical stage company rsi tells you is it a good time to buy or not rsi below 50 is always good to enter um, and institution ownership is very important that tells you is the institution supporting this company or not then short float that tells you is the stock ripe for a short squeeze short ratio about 10 percent um, you have to kind of you know watch out because any good news it can cause a um, short squeeze and stock can go up price to sales ratio it's a valuation ratio higher price to sell, uh, sales multiple like adap here you got to watch out a little bit don't buy when it's up but instead wait for a you know a drop down then i look at uh, performance itself one day one week two week one month that will give you an idea how the stock is doing is it uh, doing badly is it recovering off late that gives me some confidence to buy and then i look at uh, you know how much it's off from 50 to week high if it's off a lot then it's recovering the nearer term then it's a good uh, indication that stock will turn around so with that uh, the way this chart is organized is i got uh, you know um, uh, three month performance here the company at the top had done super super bad in three months ibrx down 53 percent from there it's a you know um, ascending order as you can see here so um, you know i like many of these companies here i like to catch them when they're down as example immunity here ibrx stock price is 14 dollars as you can see here they're down 65 percent for one year and as you can see here they're down for the three months one month they're kind of sort of you know zero percent but as you can see here they're down two weeks down one week down one day you know this is when i start you know buying slowly uh, and accumulate so that way you know, you are ready for uh, next big price move and in this case there is a solid short interest here the moment short ratio is high you can expect a short squeeze on any good news so this is good time it's down for two week down for one week down for one day this is when you can start accumulating slowly you know don't back up the truck and buy a lot accumulate slowly 
and then you can um, you know have a nice rebound when the stock um, hits a short squeeze then you know as you look through here i have highlighted a few companies for example adap it's got positive um, one year sales growth here and if you see here it's a little valuation perspective a little bit high valuation but as you look at the stock price here down 63 percent from 52 week high as you look through here down for five year down for one year but as you see closer and closer um, it's uh, you know even down for two week down for one week down for one day you know this is when you can start accumulating slowly uh, given there is a solid one year sales growth here you can you can accumulate slowly um, and in this case also as you see here there's a short ratio of three percent not great you cannot expect a short squeeze but overall i think it's a good time to buy slowly as companies uh, co companies fall, f stock price is falling and you can expect a bounce back uh, then as you go through here, we've got uh, one of my favorite stock here, Durham Tech, uh, DMTK, uh, $41 stock as you can see here, solid uh, growth here, 39% uh, sales growth in one year, 62% in quarter over quarter. And as you look through here, it's a little bit expensive from a valuation perspective, price to sales ratio is 100 plus. But as we see here, they're down 51% from 52 week high. They've done nicely for one year and six months, but three months they're down, one month they're up. They're down for two weeks. I mean, they're up for two weeks, down for one week, and down for one, one day. So this is when I'll start slowly buying and, uh, you know, acc accumulate a nice uh, position uh, you know, over the time. The next is uh, the stock we are talking about today, Harpoon Technologies, $15 stock as you can see here, 23 million um, uh, sales in the uh, last 12 months, which is good, solid growth here from a one year quarter over quarter perspective. Right now there is no gross margin, net margin is negative, low uh, debt uh, ratio here, which is always good. As you look through here, a lot of institutions are backing this company, 81% institutional ownership, that's always good. And as you look through here, uh, stock is down 40% from 50 to week high. They're down for one year, up for six months, down for three months, down for one month. But in one week, there is some positive improvement here. Uh, and one day today, they're down a little bit. So this is when, you can see here there is some turnaround in progress that's when you come and come and buy slowly accumulate a nice position here then we got a couple more companies here you can uh, you know basically follow the same methodology here look at the stocks um, if you see it's improving in nearer term for example as you look through here this one already has uh, gone up um, you could still buy it you know i like a uh, heat H HTBX, but better candidates could be the ones which are fallen off a little more. For example, here MREO three dollar stock, it's uh, fallen off drastically in last three month, um, and even two week, you know one one week and one day also. So this is when you can buy slowly, accumulate a nice position here. Then I have highlighted Sorrento Sorrento here. Many of you know this company. Uh, $8 company, $8 stock, uh, off 54% from 52 week high. I think they've gone up, you know, off late as you can see here. They're down for one day. This is when, you know, keep monitoring this, you know, you can buy this, uh, if there is a couple more down days, you can buy this company, solid sales growth as you can see here. This is also a Mimi type stock with the, uh, uh, right now, 21% short ratio. This that's one. You know, it's okay to accumulate as it falls down, and expect a short squeeze. Um, let next. Let's go into next uh, next chart here. Now we are seeing some companies with the, you know, nice uh, three month positive growth here. Many of these are positive, as you can see here. I like the you know AD uh, PT here, adaptive $38 stock. A uh, nice sales growth as you can see here, but right now um, they're up for one month, up for two week, up for one week, down for one day. If there are a couple more down days, I think it's uh, good to buy this company and accumulate. 
uh, Fate, I think Fate Therapeutics is, is a great company. I think this company has gone up uh, a lot of late. Um, I think it's, uh, you know, let's wait for some more downturn to buy this company. It was down like a couple of months ago. Drastically, that's a good time to buy. S-Gen, C-Gen, it's a, again a great company. Um, solid sales growth here. And I think this one is okay to buy. They're still uh, not completely recovered. You could buy this, uh, you know, in this downturn slowly. Then we've got a couple more here, Affimed, um, Biotech, um, and uh, BCRX, BioChrist. Um, you know, uh, Biotech, you know, as you can see, a very high price stock here. I think, but still, there is nice sales growth. Um, and, you know, if you look at the chart here, this Biotech, you know, the tech may not be right time to buy here. It's up a lot. Uh, but if you look at the AFMD, I think it's, uh, you know, down uh, last uh, uh, one month, two week, and one week, and even one day. I think it's good to accumulate slowly and hold a nice position here. And same story with BioChrist. I like this company also. You could slowly accumulate because uh, they're down two week, one week, and one day. And same story with PB, PDSB, PDS Biotech. I love this company. This company's share has dropped so drastically. Um, and now they're trying to, even today, they dropped 26%, negative 26%, as you can see here. I think it's good to accumulate this company. You know, they will do nicely. As you can see, they're, they're down two week, one week, one day, solid 26% down. It's good to buy this company also. So with that, uh, let's go into Harpoon Therapeutics and go into a little more details. Um, you know, as you can see, you know, all these uh, big uh, uh, companies like Citigroup, uh, Wedbush, you know, they all look at uh, some bad news and go downgrade. So, you know, that's our opportunity. You know, bad news is already out. Uh, you know, companies uh, uh, downgrade um, the stock. That's when, you know, stock falls off drastically. By looking at this company here from an earnings per share perspective, I think they are doing okay. They were down to minus 2.55. Now they're a little bit better here. Solid sales growth. I love this sales growth here. Nice clip. And shares outstanding is pretty stable. There is nothing to worry about here. And from a fundamental perspective, um, $494 per um, million dollar market cap, $15 stock price, $23 million um, dollar sales in the last 12 months. Nice sales growth. I love this sales growth one year, quarter over quarter. Um, right now, they're not making any margin. It's a negative net margin. But as you can see here, uh, they are up for one week. Um, uh, that's a positive turnaround here. That's why we want to buy at this time and accumulate a nice position. Um, and if you look at more fundamental here, uh, from a um, from a volume perspective, this company does not do too much volume. Um, you know, it's okay for a smaller company like this. Uh, you know, you could accumulate slowly. Um, you know, it's uh, it's okay volume. It's more than hundred thousand uh, shares traded. Um, and also, they have got nice cash cash position here, which is always good to see. Low debt, which is always great. Free cash flow negative right now. Um, and as you see here, they are spending money on R and D. I I love to see these companies spending money on R and D. That's always a good sign. And they're down from 20-day moving average, down from 50-day moving, moving average. Uh, they're even down from their 120-day average price and 200-day average price. So stock has kind of taken a beating with this uh, bad news. So that's when we jump in and buy some, accumulate a nice position. Uh, if you look at fundamentals again in a little more detail, the way this chart is organized is, you know, we have quarters on the top here, 331, 1231, 12, and so on and so forth. And then we got market cap. I typically love to see market cap acceleration. In here, you could see nice acceleration, 3230, 328 million, and so on and so forth. Off late, as you can see, they dropped off this bad news. That's our opportunity. And from a share price perspective, there is a good improvement here, but now they dropped from $20 back in 331 
to fifteen dollars right now. Um, sales is good. I love this sales growth here: one million, two million, three million, nine million. That's a good sales growth. Are always good. And they've been surprising Wall Street with the revenue surprise last uh, two quarters, which is always good. And they are also doing nicely from a quarter over quarter sales growth perspective. You know, because they're coming off of a lower base here, 1 million, 2 million. That's why it looks a little bit exaggerated, but still it's a positive sales growth. From an earnings per share perspective, they are doing a little bit uh, negative. Um, they're not making money right now. Understandable because they're spending on themselves. EPS surprise is a positive surprise uh, last two times, which is always good. They got nice cash position here. I love that. Low debt, free cash flow negative at this time, which is understandable for these companies. And gross margin is zero and net margin is zero. Uh, from a sales price to sales pers pers perspective, it's not too expensive. It's manageable for a biotech company. So with that, I feel uh, not pumped up about the fundamental, but at, at least uh, they're in the they're doing pretty okay uh, for a biotech clinical stage company. So with that, uh, let's look at the quarterly earnings report to see what's going on with this company. So when they announced quarterly results back in May sixth. Uh, they beat the EPS by eight cents, which is always good. They also beat uh, the revenue by uh, two point four zero million, which is also okay. And they presented some encouraging data, which is always good about their platforms here, Tritac and Pro Tritac. Um, and they also received some orphan drug designation, which is always good for the company. And I think overall they did some, um, you know, good. Uh, uh, from an R&D perspective, they they were good. Revenue itself was better, uh, nine million compared to three point three million. R&D was up, which is always good. Collaboration with the Abbey, which is always great. Uh, their loss, I think, it's a little bit more compared to you know previous quarter. Understandable because uh, they're spending on the headcount, and they're also they have multiple catalysts as you can see here. If any of these catalysts come true, stock can go up uh, quickly. That's why we like to buy in the biotech uh, with a lot of, lot of catalysts uh, in the pipeline. Now let's look at performance of this company. From a yearly performance, as you can see here, up down type you know, company here. 2019 down, 2020 up, 2021 down so far. Um, and if you look at the detail here, this is why I love these companies. If you look at the monthly chart here, uh, two down months, one nice up month here, probably a nicer uh, drug indication. Two down months, again, one up month. Down month, nice up month here, 72% in one month, great. Two down months, two up month. So this is our opportunity. Here we got, again, two down months. This is when you got to pounce and buy. And you can, you know, you have the catalyst in the pipeline here for the drug candidates. The moment any of those things will come true, you can you can expect a nice bounce back, just like we saw here, here, um, and even here. So that's why I love investing in these type of companies. And if you look at the weekly performance here, uh, the bad news was out somewhere here. Stock is down great. Um, this is when you invest. So if you look at the past history here. Stock down, went up, down, up. So it's really, you know, up and down type stock here. That's why I like to buy these companies when it's down. The daily performance, I think 4th June was a solid, you know, bad day for this company because of their prostate cancer indication, adverse effect. Company dropped a lot. Now they're trying to slowly bounce back as you can see here. Uh, now let's look at, uh, a, you know, a... Uh, chart here to look at how they're doing. The way to read this chart is we got uh, years on top 2021, 2020, 2019 and we got months here on the on the column or on the row. So by looking at this company you can try to kind of make sense here um, how the company is doing. So you know they did badly back in March here then they recovered March again in 2020, they did badly, recovered again. 
and you know looks like march is one of the little bits you know um, not so great month for this uh, company here then as you scan through here we got uh, uh, june same story june typically is uh, not great year for uh, not not great month for this company um, you know in the past in 2020 july was also bad but given may is, may was bad this time i could see you know um, maybe two down months and then up months so that that, that looks like a, you know um, way this company rolls and as, as you see here 2019 we got two bad months here um, after that we had one more bad month then up so you got to have a little bit patience here uh, so that way you know uh, you kind of weather through it so that's why I, I love buying these companies accumulate slowly and uh, you know hold a nice position so either a one month wait time or a two month wait time you can expect a nice bounce back so with that let's uh, go in and look at uh, what's going on from an insider perspective for harpoon therapeutics so looks like you know this uh, venture um, uh, capital fund they're downloading big time so as you can see here that's one of the reasons they've been selling like six two six one you know they've been selling all along um, april may june and you know they've been as you can see a lot of uh, shares here 6.2 uh, million here and so on so forth they've been unloading you know for most part uh, that's not helping the company you know they will soon find this base and from there they will bounce back that's why right now with all this uh, liquidation going on companies forming a nice space and then they will slowly bounce from a stock chart perspective um, as you can see here earnings here um, company stock came down earnings came down earnings went up earnings uh, i think it came down here right now it's kind of trying to make a base here as you can see here uh, two up days now it's kind of trading sideways right now they're below their uh, nine day 25 day 50 day moving average understandable that's what happens when the company stock drops a lot it happened in you know, a back over here also then slowly it went up uh, from a rsi perspective rsi kind of dropped off now it's stabilizing always good to know rsi is stabilizing you know even if you uh, want to buy option here uh, iv percentile is 40 a little high for me but you could buy the option but i would buy stock outright it's a low price stock uh, 15 dollars stock you could buy the stock outright um, if you look at the iv um, iv is pretty okay not too bad um, if you look at uh, DMI, which is one of my favorite indicators, uh, it's indicating the red line is kind of cooling off a little bit, and green line, green line is kind of stabilizing. I like to see the blue, sorry, blue line above the red line, but right now it's a bearish with the red line above the blue line. So um, you know we got to buy these companies when the chart looks ugly. If you wait for all the solid indicators to show up, stock price will be up by then. That's why it's good to accumulate slowly when the chart looks this ugly. Uh, from a volume average perspective, now, you know, after the drop off here, after this uh, stock dropped off, now it's stabilizing, trying to go up slowly. And smart money, as you can see here, now it's flowing, kind of stabilizing at this time. Um, money dropped off, now it's picking up a little bit. Um, and it might go up as you go forward. It's very you know very um you know um, predict predictable pattern when the stock drops smart money kind of goes down then it comes up back again so let's let's now look at a 10 day uh, 30 minute chart it's a little bit shorter term chart to give you some good idea of what's going on in a shorter shorter term time frame so as you can see a big drop um this is where their uh, prostate cancer indication uh, adverse effect uh, but as you can see a stock is trying to make a nice base i love the you know stock is trying to make a nice base here uh, rsi is pretty stable i think it's even kind of sort of going up you know from here it kind of made its way up uh, stock is gaining some strength here with rsi you know become becoming try to become higher 
you know, from an IV percentile, I think it IV implied volatility is going up a little bit. That's why I would not recommend buying option here. Instead, buy the stock outright, low price stock. Uh, DMI, I think uh, right now, by looking at this chart, the blue line is above red line. In the shorter term time frame, um, it's a it's a bullish right now. I like to see the distance between the red line and blue line more. But right now, I think uh, it's uh, not too much distance. But still, it's a bullish because the blue, blue line is above red line. On the balance volume, it tells me more and more people are buying the stock. That's why on the balance volume is kind of stabilizing or going up a little bit. That's a good sign. In the shorter term, you can also see smart money is flowing into the stock. This uh, check-in money flow indicator is kind of pointing up. That's a great news. So this is when, you know, by looking at longer term chart, you might think it's ugly, but by looking at the shorter term chart here, you can see stock is stabilizing and the smart money is moving in and on the balance volume, which tells you up volume is more than down volume. So that tells you it's, uh, you know, it, there is a positive sign here. So technically, I like this pattern here. That's why, you know, I like to buy in these type of scenarios and hold it for at least uh, three, four months and then, uh, you know, sell the stock. If you look at the option here, typically options will indicate how, how stock might move. So by looking at this, uh, stock is at 15.23. You know, it looks like a lot of people um, bought $15, um, you know, um, option here. We got uh, um, 90 open positions here, open interest. Um, and if you look at uh, here, there are also people who bought put option at 22.5. There is uh, some open position, you know, 20 accurate, 300 open position. But if you look at overall put call ratio here, in uh, Thinkorswim, uh, today's option statistics, uh, we have 126 contracts for call, 22 contracts for the put. That tells you overall, people are buying more calls than puts. That's a bullish indication. So that's why there's a very good chance this stock can go higher, um, especially options market is pre predicting that. Now, you know, by looking at these fundamentals and technicals, what should we do now? So I feel like, you know, our Harpoon, their TriTac program show reduction in tumor size, stable disease uh, uh, across solid tumors. So I think it's a great uh, positive news here. And stock drops after prostate cancer candidate shows uh, cytokine-related ad adverse event. This is the reason for a huge 24% drop in a single day. And they got solid cash position, as you can see here, 239 million um, in cash. And they also have discovery collaboration with the Abbey, which is a major biotech company. And they got solid catalyst uh, in the upcoming uh, you know, um, uh, months in this year. Four major pipelines. Uh, they got solid pipeline and four catalysts for this uh, year, 2021. And as you can see, here, they got these four here, uh, 424, 536, uh, 217. If any of these, uh, you know, um, come true and go, gets a nod from FDA, stock can go up, you know, in no time. So with that, I feel like, you know, this stock is really oversold. It's a very good buying opportunity. I'm buying it slowly and accumulating a nice position. I tend to like to hold this at least for a couple of months and get a nice bounce back and look for next candidate. With that, thank you very much. Happy investing.